Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I am traveling to Dayton, Ohio and visiting the Air Force Research Laboratory. So pretty excited for that. Uh, first time I have been in an airport since the pandemic started. So as you can see, it's sort of empty right now and uh, just waiting uh, a couple of gates down from my gate since there was no seating over there and just waiting to board. So. Really excited for this trip. Next stop is Dallas, Texas for my first layover. All right, so I just landed in Dallas a little while ago. I've been looking for my terminal since it changed. So now just kind of making my way there and hopefully getting a quick bite to eat first because it's another couple hours flight before I get to Dayton. All right, so I finally picked up my rental car. It is a Toyota Cam, uh, sorry, not Camry. It is a Corolla and there it is. Let's go ahead and open this. All right, so finally made it to Dayton, got my rental car, and I'm about to head to my hotel. It's a lot less cold here than I thought it would be. There's actually no snow at all, uh, so I came a little bit overdressed. A few little mishaps happened on the way here, so I ended up losing my water bottle. Uh, I also forgot to bring my wet wipes from home. Gonna have to make a pit stop at Target later, but at least for the rest of the day, I have all the time to myself, and for now, I'm just gonna head over to the hotel. All right, so now that I've dropped everything off, I am famished, I need a couple supplies, so I'm probably gonna go uh, check out the area, uh, get some food. Uh, there was like a Colombian restaurant that looked pretty good, uh, so I might swing by there, and then uh, let's see what this area has to offer. All right, guys, so I just finished up my errands. At Embarrassingly, it took a lot longer than I thought it would to find just simple toiletry items, the travel-sized ones. But I am currently making my way to a restaurant called La Colombiana. Uh, it should be Colombian food. Got some of the most uh, reviews around here, so decided to come take a look. And here it is. Hopefully it's like a little hole-in-the-wall place. All right, so I'm back to my hotel room. I uh, went and got food, went and checked out the area, and it's a pretty nice neighborhood area. I, like, I guess I just happened to be next to a giant shopping complex and a mall found around one, uh, which is pretty cool. And uh, those of you who don't know what round one is, it's an uh, arcade uh, chain that has a lot of different types of claw machines. So that's kind of awesome. I uh, didn't end, end up going in since I didn't have the time. Right now I am just back in my hotel room and just chilling, but also I have some work to do uh, before tomorrow's long day. Right now I have to prep my seminar talk, which I'm giving tomorrow morning. And tonight I also have another SACE meeting to attend, which uh, technically I guess I don't have to do anything, but uh, I'm just gonna pop in and listen. So uh, it's gonna be a busy night ahead. This is some meeting minutes from tonight's meeting. Uh, I have to fill out my section, but also working on my slides for tomorrow's presentation. Uh, they're almost all done and uh, right now I just need to practice them. So hopefully the presentation goes well. And I guess for now I'll work and see what happens in the morning. So peace. What is up everyone? Good morning. It is 7.30 and I just got dressed. Hopefully I look okay. 
and I'm right now waiting for my contact person at the Air Force lab to come and pick me up. We might grab coffee uh, on the way and uh, just got to get ready for my seminar in just a couple hours. So uh, super excited, uh, kind of nervous, but um, I think it'll be a pretty good day. Not sure if I'm able to film there or do anything because obviously it is a government based, uh, but I will do what I can and uh, hopefully catch up a little bit later and just recap my day and see what we what happens uh, a little bit later on. So I will catch you guys later. Okay, so after I left the lab, I ended up passing by Wright State University, which is a private university, I think, uh, in the general Dayton area. So I swung by to take some pictures and check out the campus a little bit. Then I met my friend Locke, who lives in the area, and uh, went out to get some food before going to uh, Cincinnati for the evening. We ended up just walking around the city, just checking out uh, some of the different uh, sites and landmarks before making our way to a place called Grater's Ice Cream, uh, where I just wanted to get ice cream and satisfy my sweet tooth. Ended up getting a Vienna coffee flavored ice cream where he got a raspberry chocolate ice cream. Uh, we ended up leaving af shortly afterwards and uh, wandered around the city, uh, making our way to the river uh, in between uh, Ohio and Kentucky. So I didn't realize that the border was so close. We ended up walking across the river and just wandering uh, around the, the river park area in Kentucky, uh, just taking more pictures. Uh, it was really great skyline view, uh, even though there was a little bit of flooding in the places that we went to. Uh, and we also just walked around the different park areas and seeing uh, what generally was around there. Later, ended up just going to a place called Olden View Park uh, after getting lost a little bit and just to see some of the sights over there um, and uh, the city itself from a high point of view before eventually driving back to the hotel. All right, so I just got back to my hotel room from Cincinnati and it was a very nice evening trip. I was glad to spend some time walking around the city since uh, I, I generally miss that. I, I like walking around in big city areas and just kind of exploring. So it's been a long day. I've been up since uh, a little past 7 uh, a.m. and uh, now it's uh, past midnight here, and um, today overall was pretty awesome. Um, I got to meet a lot of amazing personnel, uh, very smart, very um, creative and dedicated scientists um, over at AFRL. Um, very nerdy people because I, I just see them talk about just science jargon, stuff that I don't really understand, and they're just... Um, they have just so much enthusiasm, it's just a great sight to see because I, I like seeing passionate people about their subjects. And it definitely uh, could potentially be a place I could see myself going to. And uh, it certainly will be a big decision to make. They're um, very uh, receptive of me coming here. And at this point, uh, I think they also enjoyed um, my research background, the presentation went quite well and I think it was well received both in person and with the virtual audience and I also think that they are more than willing to support me coming here even if I don't end up getting the NRC fellowship which uh, hopefully I get a score back in the next week or so. So fingers crossed I get a, a decent score and hopefully get selected as one of the candidates. But now I'm just gonna chill out, gonna go shower, gonna just um, I don't know, de-stress a bit and then uh, maybe sleep in and check out more of uh, the Dayton area tomorrow. It's been a long day. <laughs> hey, good morning guys. So I just finished packing up, um, clearing out the room right now and I actually slept in till 10 o'clock. <laughs> so uh, I was very tired yesterday, but uh, time to go look for a place to get lunch um, and then see what else I can do before I have to go to the airport.
All right, so I made it to a place called the Green Town Square. Uh, it's actually one of the larger shopping areas. Ooh, gotta lock my car first. But I've never exactly uh, been here yet. So checking out the general area and it just turns out my friend has a restaurant he wants to go to called Kanato Taco. Uh, I've had tacos for two days now, but can't say no to a good taco. So this is a pretty standard shopping center. There are actually apartments around here that I'm interested in uh, if I end up moving here. Uh, but it looks like a pretty good area. A lot of foods, a lot of shops. Um, oh, just looks a little bit uh, livelier than other parts of Dayton. But I think it's pretty cool. So after lunch, Locke took me to his apartment area just to see what these apartments look like. And he was also kind enough to show me his snazzy new GT500, uh, which he got recently. Now, after oh, we went to a place called Far East Center, which is an Asian supermarket he typically shops at, it's nice to know that there's a place like this in this general area that can go get all the Asian food essentials. Then finally, we made our way to downtown Dayton so I could take a look at it just before I had to go back to the airport. So I only spent maybe five or 10 minutes here. Uh, it's a pretty quaint area, so I'll probably have to check it out later. And afterwards, said our goodbyes and made our way to the airport. All right, so I'm back at the Dayton airport. Uh, I have 40 minutes until my flight. Uh, so I'm running a little bit late. So I'm just gonna hurry up and get through pre-check and then be on my way. Okay, so I made it through the gate. Uh, luckily, I still have about half an hour left until my flight departs, so I'm just making my way uh, to the boarding area. Look how empty it is. Whew, that was a long travel. So I made it back to my car and I'm gonna go grab some food. I ordered online because I am starving and I'm gonna go home and shower and sleep. This was a really fun trip. I'm glad I took a couple days off to go travel a bit, but now um, let's just go home. <laughs> so I'll catch you on the next video. So remember to drop a like and hopefully you decide to subscribe to this channel. Keep calm and exit on. Later.